one of the things that we do here is when any one of our projects has multiple content areas attached to it. And sometimes we cover that content in class and sometimes we don't. So the students are able to learn that content on their own or they can do it in class if we do workshops on particular content, but we don't always. So for example, one of our first projects this year was to put the industrialists um, on trial. So Carnegie, Rockefeller, etc. So each student was assigned um, one of those trials and then they had to prepare um, an opening statement or a witness statement. Um, now we've done it both ways due to COVID this year. Um, everybody prepared an opening statement because we were hybrid half the time. So it wasn't as easy to do the trial, but in the previous years, um, we would have some students be lawyers, some students be witnesses. And so they would really become familiar with their one particular industrialist. But at the same time, there were other content areas that they needed to study on their own. So students were able to study for the industrialist trial, study for the content, and there was a blend of doing that at home and at school. So at school, uh, we concentrated mostly on the skills. Um, in the opening statement, they had to make an argumentative claim. They had to have evidence. So one of the skills was selection of evidence, and they had to explain the evidence. And that was true for both the lawyer as well as the witness, since the witness also had to make a claim. You know, because of what I know, the so-and-so is robber baron, or because of what I know, so-and-so is a captain of industry. The advantage was they um, got to choose roles they were comfortable with, and as always, some didn't prepare as well as others. That's to be expected in any one project. Any of our projects that we do, um, students are able to do that. They're able to work on it at home, or we have an advisory period that we call MAPS, where they can work on content or skills. So students can kind of work at their own pace. Sometimes students are working on content in class. They're struggling with content. Or sometimes they're working on skills. When as teachers, we're able to divide our time between um, skills and content. Um, in class, we focus mostly on skills. We also do offer workshops where we concentrate specifically on content. Sometimes we'll do those during the class day. And then sometimes we do those on our early outs, late starts, you know, depending on what the year is this year. Um, due to COVID, we've had remote Fridays. And so our students, we don't have classes on Fridays and st students are able to come in and get help with whatever class they need. So we hold a workshop in social studies every Friday. We'll hold a world history one, a US history one, and a US government one. So for example, today, it's towards the end of the year, in our um, world history one, um, the focus will be scramble for Africa. In US history, it is Vietnam, because we're just wrapping up our Vietnam project. And then in our government class, we are offering our workshop on the judicial branch. And this is all information we've covered in class, um, maybe not as in depth as is required in the content and for them to be successfully passing the exam. But um, students that need a little extra help will come and get that help. And um, we've been really pleased with the turnout on Fridays to help students get the extra help that they need. Um, and most students don't need it. Most students have mastered the content on their own. And we have many students who, you know, by December had mastered all the content and all they had left were the projects and the skills. So that's one of the reasons I really like being able to um, blend that and have that content to them available whenever they want.